Hello again, it's Brian from Excel Dashboard Widgets. I've just had a message from Paul on the forum who's saying um, he's missing a widget on the Widget Showcase tab. Um, he's basically saying uh, this 3D type dial gauge um, widget. Um, I found this 3D widget on the example dashboard, um, but it's not on the Showcase tab. Um, how can I use this widget? Appreciate your help. Um, well, basically, Paul, it's not it's not missing. Um, and let me just talk to you. It's a good opportunity to talk about um, about styling uh, these widgets. So uh, let's quickly um, let's quickly move across to the to the unlocked version of the Excel dashboard widgets dot com spreadsheet. Um, this is the widget you're talking about, the dial, um, and we can look down. Um, there's only one linear dial. Um, you can see on the right hand side it has a different color scheme, but that's not necessarily styling. If I go to the example dashboard page on the bottom, you'll notice there's the same linear dial. If I press F7, if I press F9, in fact, I've gone, what's the thing I have to press? F9. F7 is spell check. Um, okay. I'm getting distracted. Okay, here's the, here's the dial in a very simple with very simple styling. Here's another one with a white outline and a bit of shadow. This is the dial that you're talking about on the bottom. That's slightly 3D. Um, so let me talk you through how uh, that effect is achieved, um, and actually how you can style any of these widgets. There's another one down here that has a little bit of um, reflection underneath. Um, okay, so to do that, let's just go back to the to the example widgets over here. I'm going to click on the left hand side, Control C. Let's go to File, uh, New, Blank Workbook, Create. And I'm just going to drop that into cell 2, into B2. I've just pasted that in there. So this is our new, new dashboard we're creating. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to paste another one into J2. There we go. So let's just move that along. Um, now, the easiest way to manipulate these is on the Home tab, go to Find and Select, down to the Selection pane, which is the last thing on the Find and, on the, the, the find and Select menu. Open that up. Um, okay, if I just press those two minus signs, you'll see there's two, there's two widgets here. Um, I'm going to move that down one. Uh, this is the first one. I click the first one. This is the first one on the left, and here's the second one. Click on the right. These are actually groups of um, of common um, uh, Excel objects. So you see underneath here, these are all of the objects that are making up this this linear dial widget. For example, there's the title. There's the main value. I'm clicking on it now. It's coming on over on the left. Um, this is a circle object. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to these to these colored panels. Let me first click on the left and ungroup this. Group. Ungroup so we can start to manipulate these. Look, there's all the objects, the different objects. Um, now I'm going to select over here the colored panels and I'm going to select as well the the circle and then I'm going to apply some styling to them. So I'm going to hold down control, I'm going to click that circle as well. Can you see that? Now if I go up to the top above the ribbon, there's, there's, a, there's a, a tab right on the end that says format. If I go to the middle, I can go to what's called shape effects. Um, let's just look at some of these presets under the first ones. Um, that's the first preset that adds a sort of white um, Border. Um, there's another preset two, which looks like um, sort of glassy buttons. Um, this adds some. Uh, the, the fourth one adds some sh shading. There's also 3D effects. So if I come down to preset 12, for example, you can see the 3D effect, um, and that's the 3D effect that you've been looking for, um, uh, which was used on the example dashboard page um, of the unlocked uh, spreadsheet. So, um, in a nutshell, I hope that helped, Paul. I'm going to keep this video short. 
If you have any other questions, feel free to get back to us in the forum. Um, have a nice day.